So at that point, I studied maths, physics and computing with aspirations of becoming a maths teacher. I kind of fell into computing, uh, saw an advert in the local press saying, do you want to do a degree in computing science? Phone this number. So that's what I did and the rest is history. <laughs> I've been very fortunate to work on some kind of really big IT enabled transformation programs and I see how people operate in that role, different people as well. You know, you think, yeah, yeah I could do that. Realistically, you see maybe 20% of what the role's about. And so I learned pretty quickly that, you know, you're part of a team, you're part of a business, try and empower people to kind of, you know, do the things that, you know, naturally would fall to you as well to bring them on in their careers. IT directors, historically, that kind of kept the lights on. You know, right. they generally worked in through finance. You know, you were there to do data processing, a lack of innovation. The kind of CIO, CTO roles of, of, of modern era, I think, they've got a seat at the table, they're driving innovation, not just within their function. I think every business is really a tech business nowadays. I think network is hugely important. Connection, relationships, because that's, you know, people buy from people, don't they? People take advice from people that they trust. Um, but I also, you know, there's members in the team that don't directly report into me that I do monthly mentoring sessions with because they have aspirations okay. of going on. I joined Morrison's initially for four weeks to, to help them shape a, a major transformation program and I was there for about nine and a half years in the end. We were working with suppliers in Portugal, in India, you know, all over the globe really. And, and to have the opportunity to, you know, work with different cultures on different technology problems in that kind of environment, I, I personally learned so much. How do we get from where we are to where we need to be? So, you know, how do you eat the elephant a bite at a time? There's definitely some fantastic use cases uh, for AI. I mean, you, you see them all the time, regardless of industry sector. In and amongst that, there's definitely things that you just think, really? Or, you know, why? Is it an invention for the sake of an invention? Or is it really a use case? Well, there's a number of common challenges. I mean, cyber is always, always a hot topic on. So how do we get the insight to drive the business? make it data-driven decisions and analytics as opposed to emotional decisions. You know, if you get your culture right and, you know, the right people, what you can achieve is, is absolutely incredible. The power of having those diverse views is, is incredible. You know, what you said there is absolutely key. People have to feel comfortable being themselves in their own environment so they can express their views and opinions. And that's how you truly benefit from having a diverse workforce. One of the stats that was quoted that, you know, in, I think it was one of the early Dyson Hoover's or inventions, you know, the, the, the statistic is it fails something like 5,000 times before it made its way to market. It's right. absolutely fine to fail, do it quickly and learn from it. Cultural fit all day long. You can't teach attitude and desire, you can teach everything else. <laughs>